is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. As always, did you guys see Daniel Snyder? He, um, you know, one of you mentioned that story, and I had no idea about it at the moment because I guess it was breaking at that time. And so then I uh, went back and, and went to look at this whole uh, Daniel Snyder story. And apparently there is a nude cheerleaders video. He says it wasn't his doing. He says he never saw the video. So this is the story. Team owner Daniel Snyder strongly denying he had any role in the creation of a lewd cheerleaders video described in the Washington Post article. He says, I do not have any knowledge of the 10-year-old video reference in the story. I did not request their I did not request their creation and I never saw them. Snyder says the videos are not in the team's archives and he believes that are either unauthorized or fraudulent. He says the team requested to see the videos from the post to be uh, forensically evaluated and authenticated, but the paper never sent over the footage. Snyder addresses that other allegations from the story involving gender discrimination and sexual harassment, saying he was unaware of the allegations until they surfaced in the media. I have admittedly been too hands off as an owner and allowed others to have day to day control of the detriment of our organization. Yeah, because he's such a positive. Anyway, going forward, I am going to be more involved. Boy, that makes people look really forward to it. And we have already made major changes in personnel, bringing new leadership to drive cultural transformation on and off the field. Snyder says he's also bringing a team of investigators to look into the allegations into the article. So apparently it was back in 2008, a Beauties on the Beach calendar where a video crew chronicled the making of a sexy bikini calendar. And according to the Post, team staffers used outtakes to put together a special secret cut featuring moments when the women inadvertently exposed their uh, headlights uh, in the course of the shoot. The uh, Washington Post claims that they have obtained a copy of the, of the video, but obviously the outlet is not publishing it. The Post reports the team's lead broadcaster, Larry Michael, played a major role in making of the lewd video, and his former staffer, Brad Baker, claims Michael told staffers the video was being made for team owner Daniel Snyder. For his part, Michael adamantly denies the allegations in the report, saying nothing can be further from the truth. I was never asked to, nor did I ask someone to compile videos uh, as described. Now, this guy is so hated that either they're going to find something that he really did or they're going to try to tie something to him that he, that he didn't do. You know, I don't know what it is because you, do you know the truth? I don't know the truth. I wasn't there in 2008. I don't know if Snyder ordered the video or not or maybe a staffer uh, kind of, uh, you know, wanted to, you know, impress the owner or, you know, whatever. I have no idea. None whatsoever. But you can tell that Snyder's problems are pretty deep. And they better figure it out quickly, man. They better figure out what the hell is going on there. All right? And I'm sure the league so far is not putting an investigation from what I read last time, which was, I think, uh, this morning. So I don't know how they're going to handle that. 